Spirit tells me that you're feeling a little bit low, a little bit lacking in direction and a little bit like you don't know what your current purpose is. It's almost like you see everybody else appearing to have their shit together, but you don't. But guess what? First card out, Ace of Wands. You're about to get a very bright energy that is going to spark an epiphany. It's going to be an energy that's going to make you kind of sit up and, and realise, wow, that's what I need to do. But you need to be a bit more creative in your way of, of finding your purpose. Now, I don't know if you've had your birth chart reading done or your Astro HD chart, but honestly, there's so much information packed into a birth chart and human design body graph because these are kind of the blueprints of the energies that we operate within. So as long as you know your exact birth time, day, month and year, which I hope you do know of your date of birth, the city and country of birth, then you can get a really accurate birth chart reading. And you can get them free on astro.com, astroseek. But if you want to obviously purchase one, you can reach out to me, links in my bio, and we can um, we can arrange to get you a birth chart reading and or, or a body graph done for um, human design. Ace of Swords, there's your epiphany. There is your epiphany. This is your clarity, your peace of mind by being more creative in the way that you're thinking about how to solve this problem that is making you feel lost. You're not lost, you just need to tune into your creative spark, your inner self and the answers within you. Page of Wands, look at that. Bringing in a positive message of <laughs> something new, something exciting. So I don't know what you have been doing, but I don't feel like you've been following the right path for some time. And your energy's been low, you've been feeling very much in a state of apathy because it feels like it doesn't matter what you do what you say it just hasn't been hasn't been clicking but something's about to click here for you which is lovely king of swords take your emotions out of it okay i feel like you think too much about how it'll make other people feel or you think too much about the consequences of what it what will happen if you pursue your dreams pursue your ambition pursue what's meant for you in this in this lifetime but be pragmatic be rational be realistic about what it is you're trying to achieve here throw the question out to the universe write down what lights you up from within what did you enjoy doing another king of swords there's always two court cards in this deck of cards you've got both king of swords and the other king of swords, male and female energies here. So I definitely feel like you need to rationalise and think long and hard about what it is that lights you up from within. What did you enjoy doing? How can you bring fulfilment, enjoyment into your life as part of your life purpose? The star card. You're going to definitely... Be making a wish and your wish is going to come true because I feel like when you start listening to your inner voice, your inner guidance and you start paying attention to the signs that are within you, then the answers will reveal themselves in a very powerful way. Don't lose faith here. I feel like this is a very self a time of self-reflection for you and I feel like it's a very important time for you to align with who you are what you are what your life purpose is and you're going to start to see and feel the energy shift around you and you're going to have messages say in your algorithms on your social media you're going to be researching a little bit more about what topics or subjects or hobbies or interests that do you have that's going to light you up from within so that you'll have more energy? It's almost like a feel you're going to get this recharge, this surge of energy coming into, oh my God, Page of Pentacles as well, coming in to teach you 
and help you learn the lessons in what you've already experienced to know exactly where you need to be, where you need to go next. You're getting a lot of intuitive hits, a lot of intuitive downloads. Pay attention to these because I feel like there's lessons being learned, Knight of Swords as well, and information is just coming to you really, really quickly. It's Judgment Day. There is a karmic calling for you. This is you being the phoenix rising. You finally tuning in to what lights you up from within, being realistic, being true to yourself, being honest and open with yourself and those around you and researching and connecting with and networking with the people who can help you to be where you need to be, which is on the right path. I, I can't express any stronger a message that's coming through from spirit for you to connect with and network with the people who can help you to be on the right path. Ask the universe what, what it has in mind for you. Think about what lights you up within and you'll start to see little suggestions coming towards you. And then when you've got all of these opportunities lined up with that judgment card, which you will do, you're going to need to ask yourself the question. So for example, if you're wanting to be an artist or you're wanting to be a creator, teaching art, then ask the universe, what is the best path for me? Am I meant to be an actual artist creating art for people and selling my art and commissioning my art? Or am I meant to be a teacher and selling my teaching services and teaching art? And you will feel, this is just a little example, okay? You'll feel in your gut the energy that gives you that passion, that drive, that ooh, that kick, that desire to do what it is that you want to do. It's judgment day. It is time for you to learn from the past, go after what it is that you want. There may be a course that you need to, to complete first to be able to do what you want to do professionally, maybe. Or maybe you just need to be bringing in a hobby or an interest into your life that's going to help you to light up from the inside out to finally be on the right path and be following what you know is right for you in your life that's going to give you the ultimate joy, success, fulfillment. It's judgment day. Learn the lessons from the past, do more of the good stuff, avoid the bad stuff and pay attention to the signs. The universe, your spirit guides, your guardian angels are sending you. It is judgment day. It's time for you to be in that ace of swords and that ace of wands energy and start to think about the signs you're being given, how certain things make you feel and go after what it is that you want, that you desire because it's your calling. 